Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, today Holy Mother Church remembers Blessed Timothy Jacardo, one of the blesseds of the Pauline family. He was known as Apostle of uh, mass media, had great devotion to our Blessed Mother and the Church. As we are around this altar, let us acknowledge our own failures, shortcomings and ask God's mercy. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God. Grant that we may always confirm our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brethren, you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. But God, being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should work in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm, your response 
the lord made us we belong to him the lord made us we belong to him cry out with joy to the lord all the earth serve the lord with gladness come before him singing for joy the lord made us we belong to him know that he the lord is god he made us we belong to him we are his people the sheep of his flock the lord made us we belong to him enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with songs of praise give thanks to him and bless his name the lord made us we belong to him indeed how good is the lord eternal his merciful love he is faithful from age to age the lord made us we belong to him gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven alleluia The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, someone in the crowd said to Jesus, "Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me." But he said to him, "Man, who made me a judge or arbitrator over you?" and he said to them take care and be on your guard against all covetousness for one's life does not consist in the abundance of one's possessions and he told them a parable saying the land of a rich man produced plentifully and he thought to himself what shall i do for i have nowhere to store my crops and he said i will do this I will tear down my barns and build larger ones and there I will store all my grain and my goods and I will say to my soul soul you have ample goods laid up for many years relax eat drink be merry but god said to him fool this night your soul is required of you and the things you have prepared whose will they be so is the one who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich towards god the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus christ, christ. dear friends Water is an amazing creation of God. It covers 71% of the earth's surface. However, it has no ability to flow on its own power. The flow of water, however forceful it is, whether it is of a dam or a waterfall like Niagara, much depends on the invisible power called gravity water cannot take credit for its force or current so also if we are kept alive healthy holy or faithful it is no credit of our own it is the ever present power of god's grace st paul is straightforward at ephesians nobody can claim credit for his or her own salvation it is a grace freely given to us from the richness of god's love now this generous gift of god cannot be hoarded for oneself but must be shared the foolish rich man in the gospel hoarded for himself food meant for at least 1800 people 
he failed to share his blessings and gifts that god had given him currently the world has millions of hoarders statistics say that there are at least 10 million hoarders only in the us jesus in the gospel clearly teaches us to stay away from a worldly style of life and not get entangled with anxieties such as an excessive urge to acquire and accumulate things that are more than necessary we may not be hoarding food grains like the rich man but today's hoarding may be in the form of gadgets gifts money securing positions of power or whatsapp groups or innumerable videos and messages facebook friends and the list goes on let us introspect and ask am i grateful for all the blessings i have received from god what am i hoarding and not letting others share without taking credit for ourselves let us give credit to god with this bread and wine offering our lives to him amen Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of our human hands it will become for us our bread of life blessed, blessed be, be God forever by the mystery of the means of water and wine may we come to share in the glory of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of our human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink blessed, blessed be God forever with humble spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by your Lord may a sacrifice on site this day be pleasing to you Lord God wash me from all my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins Pray dear sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father almighty may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church grant us lord we pray a sincere respect for your gifts that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our lord Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness. but profit us for salvation to Christ our lord and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and the joy we proclaim holy holy holy, holy lord. lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, 
take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciple saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope oswald our archbishop all the clergy the religious and your faithful remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles blessed timothy jacardo and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Amen At the Lord's command and formed by his divine teaching we dare to pray our father Who art, Who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom, kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us share with each other the peace of christ peace be with you Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life.
my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Oh, sing to the chief musician. Oh, sing from the depths of your hearts Lift up your voice and praise His name With songs of thanksgiving His love proclaim Oh, sing to the chief musician a glorious song Oh, sing to the chief musician Oh, sing from the depths of your hearts Lift up your voice and praise His name with songs of thanksgiving, His love proclaim. Oh, sing to the chief musician a glorious song. Alleluia, Jesus gave us a new song to sing. Alleluia, He gave us a new song to sing. 